Bible story for tonight is about Adam and Eve in Genesis chapter 3. Say it again, Genesis chapter 3. three. God had created everything wonderful and perfect. It looked as if nothing could destroy the happiness Adam and Eve experienced in the Garden of Eden. But God's enemy named Satan wanted to make Adam and Eve disobey God so that God would not love them anymore. Satan had been one of God's good angels but was banished from heaven when he tried to become greater than the Lord God. To trick Adam and Eve, Satan changed his body so that he looked like a snake and came to Eve one day when she was standing near the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. While Eve was looking at the fruits, God had forbidden them to eat. Satan said, Has God really said, You shall not eat from any tree in the garden? Has God really said, You shall not eat from any tree in the garden? Eve answered, We may eat the fruit from any of the trees in the garden but God said do not eat the fruit from this tree that is in the middle of the garden do not even touch it or you will die you will not surely die the snake said he was lying God knows that on the very day that you eat of it you will be just like him your eyes will be opened. You will know good and evil. The woman looked at the fruit. She saw that it was good to eat, beautiful, and he suddenly believed Satan's lies about how wise and smart she would become. Eve took some and ate it, and she gave some to Adam, who was standing next to her. He also ate it. But as soon as they had eaten the fruit, they were very frightened. Suddenly their eyes were opened and they realized that they were naked. Then they sewed fig leaves together to make clothing for themselves. Later that evening, Adam and Eve heard the Lord God walking in the garden. They were terrified and tried to hide from God. Among the trees, God called to them. Where are you? Adam answered. I heard you calling and I was afraid. I hid because I am naked. God said, Who told you you are naked? Did you eat from the tree of which I said you shall not eat? The woman that you put here hid me, gave me some of the fruit, and I ate it, answered Adam. God said, what have you done? Eve answered, The snake tricked me, and I ate it. God said to the snake, Because you have done this, Cursed are you above all the livestock and all the wild animals. You will eat dust as you crawl on your belly as long as you live. I will put a strong hatred between you and the woman between your descendants and her descendant. He will crush your head and you will brush his heel. God was telling Satan that one day a man from Eve's family would fight against him. Satan would cause this man some problems, but the man would cross Satan forever. This was the first clue that God would send his son as a man to be our savior. God said to Adam, You listened to your wife and ate the fruit that I commanded you. You shall not eat of it. Now you will have to work hard all the days of your life. Your face will always be wet from sweat as you eat your bread. God made clothes out of animal skins to cover Adam and Eve. God said, Now man and his wife have become like one of us, knowing good and evil. We must not let 
let them reach out and eat from the tree of life so that they live forever in their sins. He sent Adam and Eve out of the garden of Eden. Then he put a mighty angel with flaming swords flashing back and forth to guard the entrance to Eden so that no one would eat from the tree of life. Now Adam and Eve could no longer walk in the garden and talk to God face to face. Because of Adam and Eve's disobedience or sin, trouble was brought into the world. Pain and sufferings, thorns and thistles, sweat and finally death. The paradise in the garden with God was lost for Adam and Eve. But this was not the end. God still loved his children, Adam and Eve. God did not forgive them, forget them and already had made a wonderful plan to get his children back. This is the story about Adam and Eve.